Yep, I also decided that I want to modify my night mags and to include EL lighting in the base rather than the original LED lighting. So, um, switch on the back here, put it on. Happy with these, these are good. Not happy with these really, because obviously this is this is a nice daylight and it doesn't really show up properly sort of thing. But basically, you know, it kind of is like that. It's a bit of a sort of muted, you know, set of lights on it. So not not, not super great. And you can tell why, because you know, you've got the, uh, the LED bulb is right there. It should be back of, you know, a few millimeters. And then it's obviously, obviously illuminates that tube. And that then is magnified by some additional plastic here, which is uh, which goes in it, which obviously spreads the light. So they, they look decent, but when you compare it to, to the modern ELs, which are way better. And I've also got ELs um, in the uh, in here, modification. So what I've done is I've got my um, sort of hot, hot gun from the garage, uh, carefully heated up this, as you can see, and used an iPhone, a couple of iPhone tools to carefully take it out as not to damage anything. And then um, these lenses then came out of there as well. So yeah, it really, really su super easy. And what I can then do is I can then take the um, the uh, sort of base out of the bottom of the shoe and access the electronics. And then I'm not, of course, and then from there, but from that onwards, I'm not sure what and how I'm going to do this. So now I've done this, I can look online. I can order. I can order um, the EL panels that are suitable. Hopefully, I can get maybe get one panel sort of slotted in from the back. You know rather than having two separate panels and two two pieces of wire. So ideally a panel that I can slot in from the back here, but somehow taking out the shoe from the inside, feed it in, and then I can then attach the wiring up. And in here I've got, this is the um, device. I forget what it's called now, but this is the device basically which powers the EL from here. And again, you can't really see it in this sort of light very well, but it does look pretty sweet, so you do that. You know, flashing, but at night time that apps looks absolutely spot on, you know. So what? Yeah, what I'll do is I'll say I'll connect up that EL panel uh, to this using a two-way adapter, which I've seen you can get online, and then I can then sort of adjust it and have that. And these are kind of like um display shoes, but at least it's this size here. If I want to put the shoe on, wear it, you know, that will tuck down really nicely inside there. Um, I'll then retain these for the moment, and I'll retain the original battery. And USB setup which is mounted in the base for these ones. But I'll say I'll just disconnect these LEDs, you know, just uh, close off the wiring for that safely and just, just leave these ones on. That'll be again a future a future job, but obviously that's a lot of effort to do that. And you know, I don't really want to have that sort of powered off the same off the same as the ELs. So yeah, so it's all looking good. So yeah, potentially a lot of work, but I guess it depends how easy it is to get to electronics in there if I have to take out the entire base and how well that comes out because obviously I don't really want to peel off I don't really want to take off much more of this this I mean maybe if I have to take off some I will but um hopefully I can access it from here without sort of damaging anything but that should go back on spot on and there we go that's stuff that's the uh the next part of this that's the sort of project for the next next few few weeks and there we go Perfect, thank you. Cheers.